The GTA 6 trailer gets even better the more I watch it, so since we probably won't get anything new for a year like Rockstar tends to do with their game releases, I decided let's do a breakdown of the trailer and see if there's anything we really missed. Now, this won't be a shot-for-shot -shot breakdown like you see from some other creators out there. I want to stick to the main interesting facts, the things that are really going to get you more excited. To start off, there is a lot of wildlife to be found around the world and city. Everything from dolphins to sharks to chihuahuas to deer to flamingos, cranes, ducks and other wild birds, iguanas of all things, and of course, gators. Lots and lots of alligators. Some that can even enter into stores, so get ready for that. I can't imagine trying to do a heist and this dude just walks in like he owns the place. There are actually some familiar Vice City buildings that are making a return, like the Ocean View Hotel as you can see from a distance. As you may have seen in the trailer, there is a mud club to take part in, with a monster truck driving through, so there's our first look at that. In the background, you can actually see some people wrestling, so maybe we can have some brawls of our own out here, throw some bets around. In the trailer, you can see lowriders drifting the streets and creating music videos. And with the Instagram Real Style app being focused on so much, it does make me wonder if we're going to have our own type of thing to use as well, to be able to actually host our own things. It'd be cool. In this one clip, you can even see Lucille being filmed by a different car, maybe for the app or for her to become an influencer. Who knows where the story is going to go. This one clip with the plane fly through does give us a lot to chew on, to be honest. You can already see some ramps to do some stunts. And there's also, I believe, a blimp in the distance, but that's a bit harder to verify for sure. But man, that scenery looks beautiful. Of course, in good old Rockstar style, you can find tons of hilarious billboards around the city that make fun of American people. In honor of Tom Petty, with one of his songs being used for the trailer, Rockstar decided to throw in a little sticker at the end that says Petty Forever on the gas station door, so that was cute. I think this is one thing anybody can point out by just looking at it, but the population density is huge, and so is the amount of body types as well. The variety is insane. In this city landscape shot, which looks fantastic, we can't see a plane flying around with an advertisement like we could see back in the good old original Vice City. If we can customize these banners, it'll be hilarious in GTA 6 Online seeing all the propaganda people put in the skies. The final thing I want to point out today is the exterior on most of the actual buildings that you can see in the distance. You may notice that you can actually look inside a lot of them, which is pretty different from the past GTA games where it was just a flat glass surface. This is done by creating one-room interiors that actually aren't that detailed, but even plopping a character NPC in there does go a long way. And it's what the Spider-Man games do as well to get you more immersed into the city. Being able to actually look inside mostly every building does go a long way. But anyways, though, that is going to be all from me for today. Like I said earlier, it's probably going to be a while before we get a new trailer, new screenshots, really new, any new information. So we gotta work with what we got. If you enjoyed, feel free to like the video, subscribe if you want, and stop by next time. Adios.